Hi, this is me, Mohammed Kamran Sun, and welcome to my channel, Game Ali Max. We have a 3D Studio Max, uh, and uh, in this, we are going to model a simple chess drawer. And we normally use these kind of uh, things uh, to put some important stuff in the drawers, tables, like this. So we are going to make uh, a simple drawer let's try this first we need to take some references uh, like from google i uh, was searching these kind of a drawers and many more uh, it's up to you that what kind of a drawer you would like to draw this style as well is a great style there are some three drawers and also uh, we can put something here so we have so many options uh, but i'm not gonna go into very deeply and highly model uh, i'm just gonna make a simple basic model with the help of it uh, we have a 3d studios max i'm gonna take the box and we'll make it uh, something like this and give the height as well you can see that i have a height as well uh, but i will see some more details in it so maybe maybe we need to increase some more heights i'm gonna come in my modify panel and we'll see their land their weight and their height i will increase the height so now we can easily say this uh, after that uh, if i would like to make three drawers or maybe two drawers or single draw and one empty places to have some to keep something in, in it like uh, books or bookies whatever it's up to you so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click here and convert to editable poly. By the help of editable poly, I have some five options, these vertex, edge, borders, polygons and elements. The same things we can find here, vertex, edge, borders, polygon and element. They're all this thing like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the edge and uh, just one edge, select and make it ring. If you will place the ring so it will select same direction of the edges around your model. Uh, in the first I said uh, that I'm gonna take uh, three drawers. Before that, before that uh, I'm gonna make duplicates because uh, from the same models I will um, take out two drawers or uh, maybe one drawer box. So I have total three. I'm gonna make the three drawers and uh, in this I'm gonna make two and in this I'm gonna make one. So first here, let's talk about here, same things, Eight select, ring, I have selected all this, so come down, connection, and give the connection of, I guess, uh, two. So that means one, two, and three. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, select the polygons, select, press control, and click, then again press control and click. So these three polygons are actually selected. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make it insert to give the depth of the drawers. So if I will decrease the value of uh, it will something like this, but I don't want this kind of a thing because I want every drawer will be the separate. So you can see this point like here and select the by polygons. By polygons help you to uh, select all the drawers in the separate forms. So now it's uh, perfectly okay. After that, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give some extrusion by pressing extrude. Just maximize my screen. By this, you can see this properly. So, like, uh, I will click on extrude so you can see the drawers are extrude. Like, if you want to take out or if you want to close it inside of it as you wish whatever you want suppose i would like to take out some some outside of it so it's okay okay i'm gonna press f4 to see the topology so you can see there are the details of a draw easily can be seen i need to create some separator in it so click here h select the edge and select the edge as well go here 
select the chamfer and ok you can find some depth select the polygon select this control pressing select this and give some extrusion but this time not outside this time you may go inside so now it's uh, looking something good in the end uh, uh, I'm going to isolate first uh, here I have isolated only this object uh, because uh, I am working on this object what I'm going to do I'm going to take another box and uh, make the top of this drawer just create the top of this drawer like uh, this and bring it to the upstairs all right I have placed it here what I need to make uh, something more based on the more thing is the handle the handle of this drawer by which we can open my drawer or not so what I'm going to do I'm gonna we have so many tools to draw the handle suppose if I will like, take the torus and uh, minimize my toggles and come the top what I will go to do is uh, just draw something like this okay fine <laughs> and just give the position select the perspective view maximize it and see the output it's uh, too much big so I think we need to decrease the size radius 2 as well and radius 1 as well so now I decrease the size of the handle mm -hmm. it is a simple basic drawer don't take it seriously that it's a basic model proper basic model but we will do hold a shift key then drag to the mouse by selecting object it will be duplicate increase the duplicate copies too so you can see the three drawers are here all right fine so my one draw object is totally completed if you want to see something more watch the next part of this video thank you so much and uh, if you would like to see more tutorials about this, so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much. See you in the next part.